Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to help you figure out the measure of this indicated angle. Now, the biggest hint right here, uh, which a lot of people ignore, is that it says, assume that lines that appear to be tangent are tangent. It says, assume that lines that appear to be tangent are tangent. That is your biggest hint. Um, a lot of people are just going to say, okay, this is 120 degrees, so I'm just going to divide it by 2, and that'll be 60 degrees, and that's the correct answer. Yes, that is the correct answer, but uh, that doesn't work for all problems like this. So I'm going to show you the correct way of getting the correct answer and show you why this isn't necessarily half of this. So, uh, again, let's assume that lines that appear to be tangent are tangent. So here's a tangent line and here's the radius. And if you guys do remember from a previous video or from what your teacher told you or for something that you figured out, tangent lines and their radius where they intersect on the circle are perpendicular. And so uh, perpendicular lines make right angles. So this is a right angle. And here's another tangent line and its radius. Uh, so this makes a right angle. And right here, we have a quadrilateral. And if you guys remember, a quadrilateral is made up of two triangles. Uh, so that means that uh, two tri each triangle is 180 degrees. So two, so two triangles or a quadrilateral, all four of its angles add up to 360 degrees. So here's how we set this up. Um, it's 360 is equal to 90 plus 120 plus 90 plus question mark. So there are the four angles whose sum is 360. These are 90 because the tangent and the radius are perpendicular. Now let's just grab our calculators and let's just add 90 plus 120 plus 90 and subtract that answer. 360 minus 300 is 60 degrees. So there is your final answer. Uh, there's another way of doing this. Um, if uh, your teacher's taught you this yet. Um, so because this is a 120 degree angle, this is, a, if you've noticed, this is a central angle because the vertex is on the center. So that means that this arc is 120 degrees. I'm gonna use a black pen because that's the only other color I have at the moment. And um, yeah, so this is 120 degrees right here. And then the rest of this circle, so this arc right here is 360 minus 120. So this will be 240 degrees. So uh, what, we'll, what we could do here is take this arc, the far arc, subtract it from the near arc and divide it by two. So we could do 240 minus 120 divided by two, because this angle intersects, or the, the angle's vertex is on the outside. So if you remember that, um, that concept, the far minus the near divided by two. So 240 minus 120 is 120 divided by two. Half of 120 is 60 degrees. So you can't just take this angle and divide it by two because uh, it doesn't always work. So here's another example to prove that to you. So uh, here it is. Same instructions, find the angle measure indicated. So here's the indicated angle measure or angle. Assume that lines appear to be tangent or tangent. So um, if you remember, just from 10 seconds ago, tangent lines and their radius that intersect on the circle are perpendicular. So I'm going to put a right angle symbol there and another right angle symbol there. Um, and we're just going to set all four of these angles equal to 360. So question mark plus 90 plus 133 plus 90 equals 360. Then we'll take our calculator. 90 
plus 133 plus 90 is equal to 313. Uh, so we have question mark plus 313 is equal to 360. We're going to subtract that 313 from 360. And our answer is 47. So that angle is 47 degrees. Okay. Now, some of you guys, from the previous problem, what you were going to do was just take this 133 and divide it by 2. But look at that. That's 66.5. Let me even wipe off that dust there. That is 66.5. There's still some more dust. But it's still 66.5 not 47 so that's the correct answer use the hint assume that lines that appear to be tangent are tangent so this is 90 this is 90 degrees this is 133 degrees use the quadrilateral sum theorem that means that all four angles add up to 360 and do this don't just divide that by two because in most cases you will get it wrong um but yeah, and I want you guys to get it right in all cases. So do it this way. Okay, hope that helps.